The NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle with the Houston Texans. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. Watson on first down. And oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now Jones. And some room to work. That good for 22 and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side, just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it? Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. you got a chance to rumble. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Winston firing quickly but it's incomplete didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage it's way too tight unable to find anyone open 49. they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass Now Winston. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. This is it! 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away. But they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. From the 50, it's Watson. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble and hit second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, it's Miller. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. They keep it with Miller on first down. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. A first down carry now for Miller. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Buying time to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Darren Fells. There to make the grab. And the Texans have taken the lead. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just a second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Winston. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards a line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play, now the big passing play. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Second and seven at the 25-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ready? Come back, put it down, 
On second down now. It's Logan. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Third down and seven. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Jameis to throw it. Open man is got it. It's complete. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back and they're able to get this one across the 35 a fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 no 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 Wants him with a give to Miller. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up. On second and 11 now. Watson. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 42. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Watson going to give this one to Miller. He's got a first out and more inside the 30. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg? and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans have once again taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. They go back to the ground. This time, Barber looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Benardrick McKinney there to make the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw, Winston. That's caught. It's Peyton Barber. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. He's got Evans. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the red zone now, Winston. Zone touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones as the first half is winding down as his guys are able to regain the lead. Gay is on for the point after. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left. That's caught inside the 20. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This is fielded at the goal line. 
carries up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Winston. He'll find Barber out of the backfield. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Ready? Black, 22. Flip, flip, flip. Let's get the ball. 41 Mike. 41 Mike. You ain't doing nothing. To throw is Winston. The catch made by Miller. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 35. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it. And he got it. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 35-yard line. Winston now. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A gain of 32 that time. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. A 28-yard gain. First down, Houston. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Lamar Miller. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Watch left, watch left, watch left. Watch left. He's top right there, he's top right there. Three down, three down. Kill, kill, kill. 
They'll run it again with Miller. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first down, Watson. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Credit the sack to Vita Vea. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Back now in Tampa. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Watson, and he's going to go down again. Enough takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Watson, flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They will indeed snap it to Watson. Going deep for Hopkins. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Ready. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Again, it's Jones. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Bucks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Here's Winston. He sets up the screen to Jones. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness 
to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it a second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And yeah, let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing again on second down. Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Here's Watson. He's going to let it. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off at the 35. And he brings it back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love it, hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Step back, let me get some room. Congrats every time I'm through. Say packing nobody new. So I never get confused. Hotel, get a bird's eye view. Hotel, get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, I'll be done so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so shocked. It's nothing new. Okay. Death comes in threes. Three. Wins come in twos. Two. Cash comes in ones. One. Throw it up, celebrate some news. Aye. I do a good job, pull up and pop out and pull off. True. Hand on and hood on, pedal to metal. When I put my foot on, I got to put on. I got a bad one, they wanna keep me. Oh, that's a good one. Pockets are dense, I think my bread is hard as a crouton. Receipts in my pocket don't come with a coupon. Aye, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love it, hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pow. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might win it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. Touchdown, A floor, come down, hotel, lobby, 